What's going on everybody, JVM Designs back with another video and today I am knocking out print jobs. I got print jobs here, which means I'm knocking out videos, which means I'm not changing clothes. All right, so today I'll be printing two shirts for my male lady. She actually snuck up on me a few days ago. She wants two shirts printed for her for her upcoming birthday. Happy birthday to her. Um, but here's the thing. I, these are the two shirts, and I'm getting her some. She wanted nice shirts, V-neck shirts. So I got her some Bella Canvas shirts right here. But for those two shirts, all of this is for those two shirts. Yes, all of this for two shirts. Now, here's my promise. One of those shirts are gonna come out perfect. The other shirt is the first time that I've ever done it. So, let's just dive right into it. I'm gonna pan you down so you can see what I'm doing on the table and I'm gonna explain everything as I go through it. Um, and yeah, I hope everything goes smoothly on the second shirt. I already got my heat press turned up so, Without talking too much more, let's get into it. I'm gonna pan you down. All right, so now that I got you on my workspace, I'm gonna start off with the shirt that I know that I'm not gonna have issues with. Um, and obviously this one, some of you may, may be able to guess what I'm doing with this, uh, with this material, but that's for my second shirt, set that aside. I'm gonna set this one over here. And this is, how many colors is in this design? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven color design. I need to do it right so that um, everything lines up perfectly. So for this, this first color is going to be what I use to level my entire design. So for that reason, I need it to be square as possible. As far as the other ones, I do not have to cut them out square or line them up square. Is just this one that is the most important. That looks square enough. I'm gonna take this. Did I even cut it? All right. Setting this aside. Get my weeding tool. And go ahead and start weeding this out. I'm using B Flex to give me five vinyl. I love this vinyl because it cures at a low temp in four seconds. And it peels or weeds easily. All right, so that's the first one. Set it aside. Now I can just get the rest of them and just cut it out. I don't have to line this up. I'm just using it because it'll be the straightest edge. And this is actually the same as what I just weeded out, except I'm gonna have to lay down one color at a time. And I'm gonna explain that when I get to this, that part. I'm gonna show you the whole process. So this is weeding nicely. No issues in the weeding. Right. Set that aside. Get my next color, which is a purple. And we'll have one here. I'm just gonna get my scissors for this. Looking at my cuts to make sure I'm not cutting anything out. Get a little bit of a piece off. Set this aside. And I'm gonna try to move as fast as I can. This video, I'm gonna be honest, it might it might be a long video. It might be a long video. Now this one, I believe I have three letters 
on this one and it was an accident there's only one letter in the design that is purple so i'll be removing some of those but when i get to that point i'll let you know all right so this is the next one i gotta find my design on here there it is make sure i don't leave anything out Now, like I said, this is for my male lady. This is for her birthday. And she said for her birthday, she is going skydiving. I think that's awesome. She wants to go skydiving. She wants to wear this shirt as she skydives. And she plans to tag me in it. I think that's cool. I think that is awesome. Set that aside. All right, find my design on this. This is yellow. It looks white, it's yellow. And I am gonna have to double check to see what order I might want to press these shirts to make sure I don't run into any issues. Yeah, this is, uh, how many colors I said this was? There's so many colors I keep forgetting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Seven color design. Hey, just curious, what would y'all charge for a seven color design? You know, what do you, what do you charge your customers if you don't mind sharing that information? It's no secret for me. How much do I charge? I haven't decided yet. But, it's not going to be as, as much as a one color shirt, I tell you that. <laughs> I'm just playing. I mean, I'm serious, but I'm just playing. Set that aside. All right, this is the last one, and then I'm gonna weed out the actual white. I'm trying to move today. I just knocked out. I think this is actually my second video for the day. And I'm just gonna talk to you all on this one. Now this one right here, my white print is a little more involved, so I can't just snatch all the vinyl away, otherwise I'll have to come behind myself. I want to make sure I am in the frame when I start working, I forget that the camera's rolling. Tweezers, pick that out, stick it on itself. And that's it. Get rid of that. Now, what I'm going to do with this is find my center line. Folding over, putting a crease, set that aside. Now the first one that I'm going to be pressing will be the red. Because this one needs to be square. I need to fold this over on itself. And find the center line. That's going to be center. Here's the other thing that I need to do. These are the same, but I'm only using the green. So what I'm gonna do is, um, where do I wanna cut this at? Cause I'm gonna stick this underneath. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it like that. That's how I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna cut it right there. Stick this right on top. Try and line this up as perfect as possible. Pretty perfect. I'm gonna come behind myself and cut this red out. Boom. Just like that. Still got my center line. All right, now I'm gonna get one of these shirts. This is a ladies' V-neck. I can't remember the number. Bella Canvas. All right, so I'm gonna fold in a half. Find my center, but I want my center to be as accurate as possible without going too crazy. All right, let's fold that over on itself. I'm going to slide some of this off of the platen, the collar and everything off of the platen. And I'm going to press. Give it a few seconds. Good enough. Now I have a good center point. Now for this V-neck, I'm going to come down about an inch and a half. So I'm going to grab my little ruler here, I'll grab this print, and I'm going to see where an inch and a half falls. I can do this with the T-squared, but I'd rather just eyeball it. So that's a good inch and a half. I have a good center line and I have my creases. I'm actually gonna change my mind just like that. Instead of going an inch and a half, I'm coming down an inch because this V-neck is kinda large. It goes down pretty deep, so. I'm going to see about an inch. Pull this roll off of there. Get everything lined up. All right. Great. Now that's the only thing that has to be centered, is that one design. Everything else, I'm gonna show you how I line everything up. All right, so hopefully I got good pressure here. First two colors, hot peel. We're just going to pat that down in place instead of sliding it because you don't want to push your um, your print out of alignment when it comes to lining up the next colors. So I have three letters on here, but I only need one, which is supposed to be the I. So I'm gonna take this V off of here. Cause I don't need it. And I'm gonna line this up with the L. So I'm gonna put the L down first. Make sure everything is aligned. 
let that eye fall. I could peel the L off, but I'm just going to cut it. Now when you're cutting, you don't want to move your carrier sheet around too much, because as you can see, it lifts off. Um, so I'll just do that. That's that one. Now I'm going to need my cover sheet because I have some vinyl that's exposed to the heating element. Cover that up. And you don't even have to do this for the full four seconds. You can open it up early since you are laying down one color at a time. All you want to do is tack it down there, pat it back down. Next color I'm going to do is the blue, which is the letter V. So I can either line it up with the I or I can line it up with the L. I am going to line it up with the I. What did I just do with my scissors? All right. I'm going to line it up with the I as well as start peeling. Piece that eye out of there. Let me slide this out of here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Because when I come back to remove this eye, I'm going to need to lift the uh, carrier sheet up. That's looking good. Now I'm going to peel it back. And of course, the eye wants to stick back after I just peeled it up. And just take the eye off of there. Put it back in place where it was at. Put it back under. Just trying to tack it down. Doesn't have to be the full four seconds or five seconds in my case. All right. The next color is going to be the yellow. Which is this one right here. So I'm going to line this up with the eye again. All right. Now, what's starting to happen or what will start to happen is the border of the carrier sheet is starting to cut into some of these other letters. So when I press it, there's going to be an outline that's cutting into the letters. So when I do my final press, with no carrier sheet, it's going to smooth all those lines out. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this eye again. All right. Press this again. Two, three seconds to tack it down. Pat it back down in place so it doesn't move too much. And the last one that I'm doing right here is the N. And I'm going to line this up with the yellow eye. That looks perfecto. Now I'm going to lift this and peel this off right here. And this is just how I want it to line up my print. I told you I wasn't going to mess this shit up. The other one that I got next, no promises. No promises. But I'm going to speak good things and say I got it. Thought I had this right there. Now the next thing that I have here is, well, where did it go? I got one more. It's the white color. That, um, oh, it's right here in front of my face. All right. So what I'm going to do for the white color, since I pretty much got rid of my center line, is I'm going to pull this back down. Get my T squared, find my center. All right, 
there's my center right there. I already have a center line on this. The white is supposed to lay on top of some of these letters. I have a picture that I have sitting here and it's only cutting across the purple and maybe some of the green. So I'm gonna see if I can get just barely some of the green in there. Tack one side down, move this out of the way, let it fall over. Have my carrier sheet. Do that. Now this is the last carrier sheet that I needed to use. So I'm gonna do one final press and so that if, if, there, if there was any lines that were cutting into these other colors I'm about to smooth it out with this vinyl press. But before I do that, I'm not sure if I got some vinyl when I was cutting right here. So I'm going to get myself some VLR. Just get that spot. Doing everything on press. And if that's vinyl, it peels off, which it was vinyl and it peeled off. Okay, so that's not going to affect anything that I've done on the shirt. Got to catch the mistakes before it gets to the custom. All right. One final press. Five seconds. 285. And this shirt is done. That also dries out the, uh, the VLR that I just used. There's this shirt right here. Living my best in life. Women's V-neck. Seven color design. All right, back to the table. We gonna work on the next design. All right, so we back to the table. And for this one, I'm gonna be honest, I'm nervous about, I'm nervous about how it's gonna turn out because I've never done it before. But that's okay. If uh, I don't get it right, then I'm going to have to try again. However, what I am doing, this is some magic flock to do rhinestones. I don't typically do rhinestones. Well, I don't do rhinestones. It's not, it'll be my first time. And I cut out the template myself using a silhouette. I had to upgrade my software. And I used Cameo 4 to cut it out. Then I realized the stones that I decided to go with after the fact were smaller, so I had to order more stones. So, we are going to see how this turns out with this magic flock. I have all of my holes in it, and it's like something thousand stones, whatever. But what they say you're supposed to do is get your flock. I already had all my holes cut in, and just start picking it up. And if there's anything that doesn't come out, you should be able to lay it back down and do it again. It looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of this. Laying it down. Because this is a big design. But so far, it's going, I guess it's going good. I just hope that my holes are correct. I don't have any issues with that. So, every now and then I might see a dot that does not come out. And you can come behind this and just <clears throat> poke it out later, but it's easy to just lay it back down. And I, I have to say this is, uh, this is kind of cool. So now that this is actually coming out really well, oh, still got one. My next question is going to be as far as time and temp, because I'm gonna have to re-adjust my heat press. Oh, still got one in here somewhere. It's 
it's nice that I can just press it back down and pull it up and everything comes out. So if you can see that, that's what I'm pressing in my crystal colored rhinestone. So I'm a, that's actually trash. I have a chalkboard. This is what I'm gonna do or what I'm going to use for my rhinestones. I'm gonna actually flip it upside down like this and get this and set it on. Look at my template, make sure I have all of the holes out, which I do. Now the next step is, I got this from Home Depot. It is a trim and touch pad used for painting. Comes with an extra pad. All right, so I'll set this aside. And I have, originally I was going with SS10 size stones. This is supposed to be SS6. I hope it's SS6. So what I have to do is basically, man, I'm just curious, man. I just, I know I can just take this and just pop it in there, but I'm curious on how much bigger SS10 would be. Like, will it even fit in one of these holes? I don't think SS10 will fit in that hole, which is a good thing in this case. All right, moving on, I'll move these aside so I don't grab the, one right, the wrong one. SS06, the instructions are, you need a lot. So I hope that was enough. That was like half of it. And then you have to lightly brush. Be honest, I don't know. I should have just poured the whole thing out. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm just gonna scoop it back up and put it back in here. All right, so I got them all out. Something thousand stones, great. I hope this cleans up well. So you brush all the stones in there. So my battery died on me and I was able to get it plugged up. So, continuing on where I left off. All right, so my battery died. So what I went ahead and did was I got all the rhinestones, filled in all the holes, swept everything off of the, uh, the magic flock. Now this, which is supposed to be my carrier sheet for the stones, I am basically going to measure this out and I have to go this direction. So when I stick this, I have to basically commit when I lay it down. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger than I need it. Get my scissors. Boom. Cut it apart right there. I'm trying to give myself a little ballpark area where I want to cut this stuff. It's kind of rolling over on itself right now. All right, good enough. Set this off to the side. All right. Now, I hope this is reusable. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to roll it up like this so that it is, you know, you got that little bend in the middle. And I'm going to just 
man. Hmm. I don't know if I should start in the middle or if I should start on the side. So I am going to start on the side and hope that I have enough to roll over to the other side because I don't want to pick up anything on accident. Just let it roll. It's sticking to my hand. All right, everything is on there. I'm looking at one stone that doesn't like to cooperate. I don't know how to knock it back in place. Huh, I did it. All right, so press that down. Make sure each stone will get picked up when I lift this up. And honestly, I don't know if that was the best way to do that, but I did it. I think it worked. And I looked over this like four or five times to make sure all of my stones um, were flipped the right way. So now that I've done that, now I can come back and peel this up. And I should pick up all of the stones if I don't pick up a stone for any reason, where did this stone come from? Oh, it's on top of, it's on top of the sheet. I don't know how I got there. I did not pick up a stone right here, so I'm gonna lay it down and get it. Everything on that one. So I'm going to set this aside upside down and not bother the stones until I'm ready for them. And I got a stone still in here. I don't know where it's supposed to go. I'm about to find a place. Oh, I know where you go. I know where you go. Found it. I just hope that I can stick it there. All right, so that one stone is there. Any other stones left behind? I don't see any. So I can go ahead and peel this off. Now this is reusable. Honestly, I don't know when. I would ever use this again. But I believe this is what this is for. So I'll peel this tape and I'm going to cover this up. All right, my next sheet is the same thing, except not as many holes. If I can get this to peel. Now these holes are larger. So it should peel easier. As soon as I can figure out which direction it's supposed to face, it's supposed to face, it faces this way. 
All right. So I'm gonna do this one down here to stay away from those because even though I should, I'm not gonna do my cleanup right now. And I'm gonna try to use as the least amount of stones as possible. If I can help it. Brush those in. They are fitting in the holes perfectly. Perfect size. I don't know if rhinestones is something that I'm going to decide to really get into or not because it's, uh, it's pretty time consuming. And I'm not a fan of spending too much time on one thing. It's just not my thing. Now here's what I don't know. I know that these rhinestones press at 315, 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Um, and it's a cold peel. What I don't know is once I peel or once I press one color, will it be an issue if I come back and press another color? I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway, but I'm just sitting here thinking about if I'm gonna have any issues with that. So, but living you learn, experiment, Um, I made the template myself because I was experimenting, so I didn't get it from anybody from anywhere. All right, I need an, another sheet. I am done with this. I got to say, I think I ordered just enough. I was confident that I was not going to mess up too bad. And this is all I have left. I'm not sure when I will be using that, but... That is the last one. Oh, gotta commit. I almost didn't commit and almost picked up these stones on accident. All right, so I'm just gonna press down on each section to make sure Everything gets lifted when I pick it up. Actually, for now, I'm just going to leave that there. And I'm going to come over here to the press because it's time to press these up. All right, so I already got my shirt on here, pre-pressed, center line on here, and I'm, I'm going to be eyeballing this first one. I don't know if I need to put a carrier sheet over top of the carrier sheet, but I am. So I got my first design. I want to come down about an inch. I'm going to try to put a little indentation on this shirt where an inch falls. And I'm just going to eyeball this. Paper is flimsy. All 
All right, that's gonna be it. I'm going with it. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Medium pressure, 320, 15 seconds. I'm gonna get my carrier sheet and throw it over top because I don't know if I have to have it or not. And I hope I have medium pressure, we'll find out. I say that's medium pressure. All right, so this is a cold peel. So I'm gonna get a shirt and just kind of rub it over top, get some of that heat out of there. Fan it a little bit. Peeling like butter. First time doing rhinestones. Got my first color down. Now I'm gonna come back with my second color. I hope it's not an issue that I do that. So now I just have to eyeball this and make sure everything falls where it's supposed to fall. again if I don't mess it up and I'm messing it up all right good enough I'm gonna grab this cover sheet again and I'm just gonna lay it over top of the rhinestone stat I'm not covered. Get this again. Probably don't need it. Now we're going to do another 320 for 15 seconds. Peel, do the same process, get a shirt, absorb some of that heat out. Fan it a little bit.
All right, that's not cold, cold, but it's pretty warm. Let me get the top up here because it's closest to the bottom of the, of the heat press. I really don't know how fast or how slow I'm supposed to go. I'm just making sure nothing lifts up while I'm peeling this off. And so far, it's good. Boom. Another perfect print done by JBM Design Company. All right, let me get this over here to the table. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm super excited about this. Proud how this turned out. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get some more um, requests on rhinestones based off of this. All right, so here's everything that I was working with. This is my template for the rhinestones. I just took the other one and put it on the back side of that because I'm probably gonna throw it in the drawer somewhere and never use it again, but for the first shirt, Seven color design. This is how this turned out. Super dope. Living my best life. Like I said, I wasn't really concerned about this print. I already knew I wasn't gonna have any issues with this one, but this turned out pretty good. And then for the next one, which is my first attempt at rhinestones. Here we go. I hope it's blinging in the camera for you. Chapter 56, established 1965. Now, I'm not worried on whether I got the right numbers as far as 56 in 1965 because she sent me a picture with this exact image. So if this is wrong, then she sent me the wrong thing. And it's already on the shirt. But man, this turned out perfect. I can't be more excited about how this turned out. So yeah, rhinestone. All right, so if y'all like the video, hopefully I cut it down, you know, short enough to where it's tolerable. I didn't drag it out too much. But if you like the video, if you learned anything from it, if you got any questions, comments, leave it down in the comment section down below. Um, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And as always, be yourself, be your best. I'm JBM. I'm out.